Imela, let us check class week 12, which relates to cash and cash equivalents. Um, that will be in the statement of your cash flow. Now we are given information and the information is taken from the notes um, to the financial statement of Springs Limited on the 28th of February. Now, when you look at cash and cash equivalent note for 2020, you have 20,000, um, which is your cash flow. Then we have petty cash, which was 7,000 in 2020. 2020 is the previous financial year. The current financial year cash flow is 25,000, pay cash is 6,000. However, you will notice that in cash and cash equivalent, we do not have bank. Now, just because you don't have bank under cash and cash equivalent, you cannot automatically assume that we don't have a bank account. You need to go and check either in your trade in other payables, look for bank overdraft, or go straight to the face of your statement of financial position and the current liabilities. Check there if you have bank overdraft. Now, in this case, we are given an extract from the statement of financial position as at 28th of February, 2021. And when you look at the current liabilities, just underneath trade and other payables, we do have bank overdraft. For last year, it was 10,000. For this year, it's 55,000. And you realize that your bank overdraft has gone up. If you've been checking out the previous videos, you should be able to know that an increase in bank overdraft is a reduction of cash. It means that we went more into bank overdraft. Remember, bank overdraft is a liability. It means we took more money from the bank. We are owing bank, the bank in that case. And any increase, or in this case, any reduction in our bank results in cash outflow. So we are going to have the difference between our bank overdraft. This year's bank overdraft and last year's bank overdraft will be a cash outflow as an increase in bank overdraft is regarded as a reduction of your bank account. Because when you think about it, it means that your bank account is going more into the negatives, okay? We are required to prepare the note to the cash flow statement, which is the cash and cash equivalents note. Bank overdraft for last year, it was negative. So our bank for last year, it was negative 10,000. Why is it negative 10,000? It is because last year we had a bank overdraft. Bank overdraft is a negative bank balance. For the current year, we also have a negative uh, bank account of 55,000 because that is a bank overdraft. Now, when our bank overdraft goes up, it indicates that our bank account is decreasing more. And that reduction will be a cash outflow, will be regarded as a cash outflow. Now, how do we determine whether this resulted in a cash outflow or cash inflow? You just take this year's bank balance of negative 55,000, you minus last year's bank balance, which was negative 10,000. So remember, when you minus a negative number, it results in positive. You did this in grade eight. Okay. Um, so we are going to have under bank. So for me to determine whether I have a bank outflow, cash outflow or cash inflow, I will simply take this year's amount minus last year's amount. Because last year's amount was negative, that's why I'm putting it in brackets. Just punch that into your calculator and it'll give you a cash outflow of 45,000. It is a cash outflow because your bank overdraft has gone up. For cash flow, last year we had 20,000. This year we have 25,000. You just take 25,000 minus last year's amount of 20,000. You'll realize that your cash flow for the current year is bigger than cash flow for last year and the increase is regarded as a cash inflow. We're gonna show it as without brackets, that is. Petty cash, 
it was 7,000 last year. This year, it is 6,000. This resulted in a cash outflow. We used more petty cash. The reduction of your petty cash in this case will result in a cash outflow of 1,000, right? Then for 2020, for us to get our net change in cash and cash equivalents for 2020, we are going to take negative 10,000, add it with 20,000, add it with 7,000, you will get 17,000, which is positive. For 2021, you will put this into your calculator, negative 55,000 plus 25,000, plus 6,000, and that will give you 24,000, which is negative 24,000. To determine your net change in cash and cash equivalent, you are simply going to take the negative 24,000 minus 17,000. It's negative 24,000 minus a positive 17,000, which is minus 24,000 minus 17,000. Punch that into your calculator. How much do you get? You will get negative 41,000, which is your net change in cash and cash equivalence, which is your net cash outflow in this case. Another way of getting it, you just take this negative 45,000, you add it with 5,000, you minus that thousand because it's negative, it'll still give you this 41,000. You got it? How do we show this in the statement of cash flow? You will start with cash and cash equivalents at the beginning of the year. In this case, it was 17,000, which is the total under 2020 in the previous slide. And then you will take cash and cash equivalent at the end of the current year, which is the total for 2021 in the previous slide. And that was negative 24,000. To determine your net change in cash and cash equivalent, you will simply take a negative 24,000 and minus 17,000 that you had at the beginning of the year. You will get a net cash outflow of 41,000, which makes sense because your bank account went down from 17,000 to negative 24,000, from being a positive bank balance to being a negative bank balance. And the total reduction was 41,000, which is your cash outflow. This is how you will show it in your statement of in your statement of cash flow for the year ended 28th of February 2021. All right. It's your turn now. Try plus work 13. Prepare your cash and cash equivalence note, which is your net change in cash and cash equivalence. And show me how it will be disclosed on the face of your statement of cash flow for the year and the 28th of February, 2021. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification button so that you can get notifications whenever I post any video. Hotzon. Hotzon simply means may peace be with you.